Picture this. The year is 1955 and you're cozied up in your living room. It's the heart of the home, a place where memories are made, stories are shared, and the pace of life feels just a bit slower. From the warm glow of oil lamps to the exciting introduction of console televisions, each feature of the living room tells a story of innovation, culture, and lifestyle. Join us as we take a stroll down memory lane, exploring the unique features that defined living rooms throughout the 20th century, reminding us of simpler times and cherished moments. Remember the TV guide? It was the roadmap to television's golden age. Introduced in the early 1950s, this compact magazine was a treasure trove for planning your TV viewing. Back then, with fewer channels, the TV guide was essential for catching your favorite shows, sports, and movie broadcasts. In the days before instant streaming and digital guides, this little booklet was our go-to for entertainment. Families would gather around the TV, TV guide in hand, to choose their evening's entertainment. It was a ritual that defined many living rooms from the 1950s through the 1980s. Nowadays, with the advent of digital programming and on-demand streaming, the physical TV guide has faded into nostalgia, replaced by electronic guides and apps. The Conversation Pit, a sunken seating nook, was the height of cool in the American living room from the mid-1950s. This groovy feature turned the art of chit-chat into something special, offering a cozy, carpeted spot decked out with comfy cushions. It was the perfect place for heart-to-hearts or just shooting the breeze away from the buzz of the TV or the radio. In those days, before everyone had their nose in a smartphone, the conversation pit was where the real action happened. Stories, laughs, you name it. But as the 80s rolled around and homes started opening up with more versatile spaces, these neat conversation pits started fading out. Now, they're like a blast from the past, replaced by sprawling couches and open living areas. Yet, for those who remember lounging in one, conversation pits still stir up some pretty fond and funky memories. The Humble Phone Book. Once a staple in every living room, this thick directory, first published in the late 19th century, contained everyone's phone numbers and addresses. Before the internet, if you needed to contact someone, the phone book was your first stop. In living rooms across America, it rested near the family landline, dog-eared and annotated. It was not just for making calls, it served as a booster seat for kids and even as a makeshift weapon in comic sketches. By the early 21st century, with the rise of digital directories and smartphones, the printed phone book's relevance dwindled. Yet for many, these thick volumes are nostalgic reminders of a time when information was tangible and local connections mattered. The console television, a bulky yet stylish fixture, was a living room centerpiece from the 1950s to the 1980s. These large TVs encased in wooden cabinets were as much a piece of furniture as a source of entertainment. They stood proudly on the floor, often the focal point of the room. Families gathered around these sets to watch the news, variety shows, and the first color broadcasts. They weren't just appliances, they were statements of style and luxury. However, as technology advanced, these hefty TVs gave way to sleeker, modern flat-screen TVs in the late 1990s and early 2000s. The modern preference for minimalism and space-saving technology has relegated console televisions to the corners of antique stores and vintage collections, a reminder of the era when television viewing was a communal scheduled event. Picture rails, a charming feature in early to mid-20th century homes, were more than just decorative elements. These molding strips, running along the walls near the ceiling, allowed homeowners to hang artwork and family photos without damaging the wall. This was particularly useful during times when wall materials were not as robust as today. In the days before digital photos and social media, displaying physical photographs and art in the living room was a way of sharing life stories and cherished memories. Picture rails were popular until the late 1960s, after which changing interior design trends and the advent of more durable wall materials led to their decline. In modern times, while some vintage homes still feature these rails, they are often more of a historical curiosity than a practical necessity. The Victrola phonograph, introduced in the early 1900s, was a marvel of its time. More than just a means to play tunes, these grand devices were a fusion of auditory and visual artistry housed in elegant wooden cabinets with their iconic large horns. They played music on wax cylinders or discs, a stark contrast to today's digital formats. 
As a novel centerpiece of home entertainment, families would gather around the Victrola, winding it up to fill the room with the latest in classical, jazz, or popular music. This shared experience, almost ritualistic in nature, stood in sharp contrast to today's individualized listening habits with earbuds and streaming services. However, as technology evolved with the introduction of radios, tape players, and eventually digital music, the grandeur of the Victrola phonographs faded. It harks back to a time when music was not only heard, but physically felt, a communal experience now overshadowed by today's digital solitude. The parlor room, a term more familiar to our grandparents' generation, was a standard feature in homes until the mid-20th century, particularly popular from the Victorian era through the early 1900s. This formal room was dedicated to entertaining guests, conducting social visits and displaying the family's best furnishings and decor, such as fine china, ornata furniture, and grand pianos. It was often the show casa room, reflecting a family's status and text. In a time when social calls were a regular occurrence, especially among the middle and upper classes, the parlor room played a crucial role in household social life. It was a space of elegance and etiquette, distinct from the more casual living or family rooms used for more formal receptions and important gatherings. However, as lifestyles became more casual and homes shifted towards more open, multi-purpose spaces, the traditional parlor room's significance wanted. By the mid-20th century, this transition led to its replacement by living rooms that combined relaxation and entertainment, adaptable for various activities. Transom windows, those small, often decorative windows above doorways, have been a feature in homes since the 19th century. In living rooms, they provided not just natural light but also ventilation, a crucial aspect in the days before air conditioning. Their popularity persisted well into the 20th century, especially in homes with traditional or historic architectural styles. These windows were both functional and aesthetic, adding character to the room. Even today, while modern architecture has evolved, transom windows are still used, particularly in homes that value historic charm and character. They remind us of a time when architectural details served both practicality and beauty. Slide projectors, a staple in living rooms from the 1950s to the 1980s, transformed photography into a vivid social event. These devices projected slides onto a screen or wall, turning family photos into larger-than-life memories. Gathering to view slides of vacations, celebrations, and everyday moments was a communal and nostalgic ritual. The experience of setting up the projector, dimming the lights, and clicking through each slide was not only interactive but also deeply bonding, with family members often narrating stories behind each image. The advent of digital photography and screens offering instant access and sharing of images has nearly extinguished this once beloved practice. Today's fast-paced digital world has replaced the tactile, deliberate nature of slide viewing, shifting from a shared family experience to a more solitary, less tactile interaction with our memories. Let's not forget the intercom radio system, a nifty gadget that found its way into many homes from the 1960s through the 1980s. This was more than just a fancy walkie-talkie, it was the household communication revolution of its time. Mounted on the wall, often in the kitchen or living room, the intercom radio allowed you to chat with someone in another room without shouting your lungs out. Need to call the kids to dinner? Just push a button and voila. And let's not overlook its built-in AM-FM radio feature, providing a soundtrack to our daily chores and relaxation. These systems were all the rage, especially in larger homes where hollering from room to room wasn't quite efficient or, let's face it, classy. But as technology galloped forward, the intercom radio system started to lose its charm. The rise of portable phones and later cell phones, along with smart home devices, turned these once essential home fixtures into relics of a past where home communication had a certain flair and simplicity. Back in the days before Edison's bright idea took over, oil lamps and gasoliers were the mainstays of lighting up American living rooms. These weren't just your run-of-the-mill light sources, they were often ornate and stylish, setting the mood in the room just right. Imagine the cozy evenings. Folks would light these lamps and gasoliers, tweaking the flames to get that perfect warm glow. This ritual made things like reading, sewing, or just hanging out with the family feel extra special. But as the 20th century rolled in with its electric lights, these old-school illuminators started to fade out. Why? Well, electric lights were safer, more reliable, and changed the game in home lighting. 
Sure, you might still spot oil lamps or gasoliers in some homes today, but they're more about capturing that old-timey vibe than actually lighting up a room. As we dim the lights on our retrospective of 20th century living rooms, we can't help but cherish the straightforward pleasures and lasting appeal that these common features brought into our homes. Enjoyed this trip through living room history? Check out our next video for more insights. Remember to like and subscribe for more.